hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading or if the game is stuck on loading then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game do not ignore this step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from the game installation folder now it's still not working then go to properties once again this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here still not working this time you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here still not working then open this folder and then open binaries win64 and then find the game exe file over here so this is the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to go to this tab and do the same thing put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still the game is not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties and then this time type in dx dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove dx12 from launch option and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party uh, antivirus program like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps this time open this folder binaries win64 and then select this exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder steam apps common and then open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on browse and this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file then click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select a product type for me it's geforce experience so i'll select geforce now for product series select your series 
So make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And this is game ready driver. Now click on search and then click on download. Now, once the download is complete, uh, run the exe file. So click on download once again. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. After the installation, restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to delete the config file and then check. So open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, open local folder and then open the open this folder, open saved folder, open here you can see config folder. You can make a right click on config folder and delete. Once you delete config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So delete the config folder and then you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. Delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can delete the save game files. To delete the save game file in the same location go back and you can delete this complete folder make a right click and then click on delete once that is deleted now launch the game and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save Again, click on browse and then this time open this folder. Binary is Win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, again click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the install file tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Also disconnect, sometimes we have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have multiple, uh, like any third party services or application running, you can close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, you can turn off overlay in Discord or you can simply close Discord. If you have GeForce Experience running, you can turn off overlay in GeForce Experience or you can close all the overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. To, to perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then go to system configuration. Go to the services tab, then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, disable option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So first of all, make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This, for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. This is important. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64. You have to download both the files. x86 and then run this exe file. Click on repair if you see repair. Click on install if you see install. In my case it is already installed so it's telling me no action was taken as system reboot is required. In my case it is already installed. 
I have installed it. It's telling me to restart my computer. So please ignore this error. And then download x64. Again, run x64. And then if you see the repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Ignore this error. I have already installed it. So restart your computer. After this, you will see a restart option like this. Make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step, uh, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you're able to launch the game, launch the game first. So go to settings and then go to video. Now if this is set to full screen, you can try window full screen or you can even switch to window mode. Now over here, if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, if the V-Sync is on, you can turn it off. Now, I will cap the FPS at 60. Now, if the quality preset is set to very high, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium. In my case, I have turned off the shadow. Now, if you're selecting DLSS, then select DLSS, DLSS quality. Now, if you're using FSR, then select FSR quality. Now, you can even turn off super sampling. You can turn this off. And then if advanced models and shadow rendering is on, you can turn it off and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to external drive, D drive or E drive, 
try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.